This is the model layout. In the model layout you can see three views by default. The model tree view in the top left, the info view in the bottom left, and the 3D view. We'll start with the model tree view. Uh, here you can see how the model is structured, in this case into floors. Floors then have components such as walls, so if we open a floor we'll see all of the components uh, below that floor. And if you want to only visualize, for instance, the first floor, we can choose the first floor, select that branch, and hit the equal sign to set that to selection basket. Now that's what we're viewing in the 3D window. When we drill down to components, you can see considerable component information in the info view. For example, if I click on this column, it is information that includes identification, uh, location information, quantities, and some material information, and also classification information. The amount of imp information depends upon what was provided when the model was authored, and also what comes through uh, via the modeling software. This model view is one of uh, model uh, uh, tree view is one of several uh, views available. You can also have a component view, so we can switch from a floor. Uh, by floor view and now we're just viewing all of the components of specific types uh, uh, regardless of what floor they're on. So for instance if we want to view all of the walls we can highlight the wall group, hit the equal sign and now we're viewing all walls. Might want to add columns so we can choose columns and hit the plus sign and now we've added that to the 3D view as well. Let's also add slabs. So we'll hit the slabs and hit the plus sign and now we are viewing uh, our walls, our columns, and our slabs in the 3D window. We have some navigation options. We have the ability to spin in the 3D window, which is the default setting. By scrolling the mouse wheel you can zoom in or zoom out. You can push the middle button uh, if you want to make it possible to switch to a pan mode. Uh, let's go ahead and select the walk mode and we'll start moving inside the building. So we can start at a specific area and you start walking by pushing the mouse button. So notice that when you are, uh, or the cursor is, in the center of the 3D view and you move upward, you move forward. You can turn to the left or turn to the right and then you can go backward when you are below the center point of the 3D view. We're also able to get information about components we see. So uh, by default we're in the info mode. If we click on a wall for instance, that wall will become highlighted in the 3D window and we'll see the information in the bottom left info window. We can also select components, hide or uh, make components transparent, display dimensions. Let's use the surface plane to make the section. So we'll switch to a sectioning mode and you're able to change the sectioning by pushing the shift key. So we of course select our original plane that we want to use as the sectioning uh, plane and then we can adjust those using our mouse and shift buttons. If we again we want to go to a uh, completely visible model we can just choose the uh, show all button. Uh, with selected only you basically get what you have selected earlier selected and everything else displays as transparent components. You can color components with different colors if uh, required. And you can also select to, to show uh, or hide specific component types. So in this case we can show or hide walls for instance. And we can toggle between those to toggle those on and off. We also have some zoom options of course. Zoom in and zoom out. And uh, you can also choose some specific viewpoints. So we have some default viewpoints here. So if we choose from this drop down, uh, we can choose a specific viewpoint um, of this model. On the bottom right, we have a navigation map which we can turn on and off. And we also have the ability to hide footprints. Um, so, sort of the 2D uh, representation we see in the bottom right is also in the model for certain views and we can toggle those on and off. Also can add views so we can click on this add view option and for instance we can add the classification view. 
classification is very good and important for getting more information by classifying our components in our model. As you can see, it starts as a floating window, but dragging it with the mouse from the quarter, you can then pull it and dock it, for example, uh, here below the model tree. We can also undock um, by clicking uh, this icon. Or, of course, if you want to uh, close the window, we can just click the X button. The main purpose of the model layout is to visually show the model and to conduct visual inspection. For example, just looking at the spaces alone is quite a convenient way of checking that the components, the space components have been done correctly.